Hi, I'm Hal Crane. I'm uh, also known as Svi Yaakov Halevi from Morganville, New Jersey, United States of America. The first thing I have to do is thank my wonderful wife for being such a good sport for coming on this Meshuggah trip. Because <laughs> <laughs> she, she indicated she, her family does not have any connections with the places we went to. But what attracted me to this trip was going to Minsk, which we will see more of tomorrow. But uh, what I wanted to tell everyone, we were very apprehensive about coming on the trip, or we were the only Americans, we knew most people would be from South Africa, and we didn't know what to expect. Would anybody speak to us? Would anybody <laughs> treat us like uh, human beings? But uh, all of you were so wonderful, kind, and friendly to us, I feel like we made a room full of new friends, and I think that's, that's really a great experience. And I also want to thank our two wonderful photographers, uh, Neil and Les, who have been working tirelessly. <laughs> And, and I was privileged to be Meshuggah to go out with them in, in Vilna at 6 o'clock in the morning taking pictures uh, to see a little extra. So thank you guys for, for, for what, what you've done. Now, Minsk is important to me uh, because last year Barbara and I did a uh, Jewish heritage trip to Romania and Hungary looking at my mother's, my mother's side's roots and Barbara's uh, family as well. And I've always been curious about my grandfather and perhaps my grandmother's uh, experience in Minsk. I only learned very recently by finding my grandfather's draft record <coughs> on the internet that he came from Minsk. I always thought he might have been from the Ukraine because their name is Crane and he kept everything yeah. secret. I might as well tell the quick version of the story. My grandfather kept everything secret about his past because when he was a teenager he belonged to some sort of Jewish underground the foot against pogroms and foot against the tax on Jews. And one uh, night he was told by this group, you're going to drive a sled and you're going to pick some people up at such and such a time and take them away. What he didn't know was after he picked them up, he would never see his family again because they had apparently assassinated the mayor or another official of the town and they had to leave the country. So his entire life he thought somebody from Russia was coming after him. And he kept everything secret, so we really knew very little about his past. But there's one thing I remember him telling me about over and over again, is he had, he had no opportunity to have an education. He couldn't learn because he was Jewish. He was deprived of an education here in this, this area. And while we've seen the terrible things that have happened to our people, we've been to destroyed synagogues, we've been to so many terrible places, so cemeteries and... Uh, places like, I don't even want to utter where, where we were because it was so horrifying. And here today we were in a synagogue that was built in 1642, and that was a horrible rubble. But look at where we are right now in this beautiful room, put together by this young rabbi from Chabad, from Paris, who he and his family are devoting themselves to spreading Yiddishkeit in the area where my grandfather came from. So what I plan on doing is showing my support for this shul and what the rabbi's doing, and I hope everyone else will join me in supporting him, because without him there would be no Yiddishkeit in this area at all. And lastly, I want to thank you for some amazing insights and amazing learning. Uh, one of the things I never knew was that here, we live near Lakewood, New Jersey. I never knew that Reb Cutler, who was the founder of the Lake, amazing Lakewood Yeshiva, which is this, probably the largest yeshiva in the United States, came from this area, in the world. I mean, if you went to Lakewood, New Jersey, you, you would think you probably were coming back to a community here 50, well, 100 years ago. So, and, and, and thank you, our dear friend Ulick, who was tireless in, in sharing his thoughts and insights with us and his love of the city of Vilna. And thank everyone for being such wonderful people. I hope you are together again and only have sympathy. Oh, man.